I have no more money left with me now. How shall we buy our food then? Don't worry right now. I have that money which we kept aside while planning this trip. But what shall we eat or drink or wear after we finish that money? Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that comes out from the mouth of God. Uncle Yes! Fear not, my dears. My God shall supply all your needs. God bless you, Uncle Yes. You are an angel indeed. Praise Jesus. He must have noted how you share even your meager resources with the needy in the camp. He must be very happy with you, for there are many who hold like the man in the parable of the rich fool. Wow! Please tell it to us. Okay then. Listen. One day Jesus was speaking to a crowd of people. Someone from the crowd requested Jesus to tell his brother to divide the family inheritance. And Jesus said to him, Friend, who sent me to be a judge or mediator over you? Take care. Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. Listen to this parable now. The land of a rich man produced abundantly. What should I do? For I have no place to store my crops. I will do this. I will pull down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grain and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have ample goods laid up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, be merry. And then an angel of God appeared before him. Who are you? God has sent me to give you this urgent message. <laughs> A message of God for me? You fool. This very night, your life, you are going to die. And the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So it is with those who store up treasures for themselves. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. What is the special message for us in this parable, Uncle Yesh? Jesus warns about greed. In fact, the major obstacle in the spiritual growth of our world is our attachment to material things and the desire to have more. Why do you think there is so much violence in the world today? Because man is too focused on acquiring more and more. Right, Joshua. When we are happy with our daily bread, our lives are blessed. But alas, we are worried about tomorrow and also the day after. Shouldn't we be worried about that? Not if you trust God and look up to Him as your provider. After all, He is the same yesterday, today and forever. So true, Uncle Yesh. When I was younger, I remember how I cried when my mother gave one of my old toys to our maid's daughter. Now I realize that I was a fool to keep them. All in vain. Here we are battling to save ourselves. Same here. I remember all the toys I hoarded even when I didn't need them. I warned my mother not to give them to the orphanage. We all need to collect heavenly treasures which neither moth can destroy nor thief can rob. Like what? Like the love that you show the sick and the needy, the hope that you give the hopeless, the joy that you give to those in sorrow, the forgiveness you give the ones who hurt you. And of course, we need to thank God for the gift of life that He has given each one of us. But without it, no other material thing would be of any use to us. So true, Esther. Come, let us praise the Lord and thank Him for the very breath that He sustains in each one of us.